Welcome to your wrestling replay. It's Kato here with the Monday Night Raw replay of the week. Yes. Now you know how we like to do things. We're going to get this done in under 10 minutes because I ain't going to lie to you. Monday Night Raw was some mid, man. It, it, it was some mid. Um, uh, let's just get jump into it, alright? Let's just jump into it. Now, show kicks off with Braun Strowman uh, defeating Mace and T-Bar via disqualification in a handicap match, right? Okay, understandable. Now, what would happen is Mace and T-Bar would end up facing Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre. Of course, Drew McIntyre returned in favor, coming out there helping Braun because he wants to show Braun that, hey, you need me, I didn't need you last week, right? Granted, they both needed each other. But Mason T-Bar managed to beat Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre, giving them their second tag team victory. But they can't win handicap matches. So, I don't know. I, I, I guess that shows that they're a good tag team, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Um, that ended up leading to Braun Strowman versus Drew McIntyre. Now, this match was pretty good. I will, I will give them that part. Now, the stipulation in this match is if Braun Strowman wins, he's in that title match at Backlash with Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. Now, Braun Strowman did go on to defeat Drew McIntyre. Um, MVP was very disappointed. He definitely didn't want his champion in there with the likes of uh, Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman because now Bobby Lashley does not even need to get pinned in order for him to use, lose the WWE title. Understandable. Um, point being... Why can't we just get Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre one on one? The winner then goes on to face Braun Strowman, and let that just be that because Braun and Bobby Lashley still be a good match. Drew McIntyre and Braun still be a good match either way. Let that be that, which leads me to believe that somehow Braun is going to be the one that takes the pin or the, the loss to Bobby Lashley, leaving Drew McIntyre still looking strong, leading this feud between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre to continue for yet into another pay-per-view. I'm I'm not too much of a fan of that. I don't know about you guys. I'm, I'm not a fan of stretching this feud out too much longer. Give Drew McIntyre his vacation. Give him a break. Or let him and let Bobby Lashley retain the title. Him and Braun go do their thing for a couple of months and, and figure it all out. Get a new contender to come on over to Raw, something like that. Now, moving on, Charlotte Flair has managed to come back from suspension um, via an apology, that's all she really needed. So she came back and defeated Mandy Rose. But I will say Mandy Rose did manage to take Charlotte Flair to the limit in that match. That wasn't a bad match either. But um, Charlotte Flair should have mopped the full floor with Mandy Rose. But I, I will say this. It did make Mandy Rose look a little bit stronger than how she has been looking in previous matches. Being able to take someone like Charlotte Flair to the limit. So that does help Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke and that tag team going forward. Because it shows that, hey... Um, M Mandy might be a legit contender one day. Definitely not now. It's, it's too many big names on the Raw roster right now, but definitely one day if she can manage to uh, actually put some of these wins together in this singles uh, competition. Now, they also had a three-man tag team. It was uh, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Damian Priest versus Jason Riker, Elias, and The Miz. Now, uh, New Day and Damian Priest managed to get the win over that trio, which they should have, which they should have. It looked like we we're really hyping up this feud with uh, Damian Priest and the Miz. Now, that's a good thing for Damian Priest because Miz is a grand champion, two times a grand champion. So, granted, I, I know the Miz hasn't been, you know, that long reigning world champion, but he was a world champion not too long ago. He hasn't had a long title reign prior to for a while. But the accolades that the Miz has is is really good for somebody like Damian Priest because that's going to propel him to uh, you know maybe the United States Championship. They're probably going to slow roll him and Sheamus, but that would be a great feud if these guys manage to get in there and mix it up. So it looked like Damian Priest is you know ready to get the, the red carpet rolled out for him on Monday Night Raw. Still waiting for Keith Lee to return. That that's who I really want to see uh, hold that United States title, but. I don't mind it on Sheamus either. We also had a three-woman tag team championship match where the champions, Nia Jax, Baszler, and Rhea Ripley, went against Asuka, Naomi, and Lana. Now, this was a pretty much a champions versus contender type matchup. The champions the champions side was just too much for them to handle. It, it, it's no way I, I thought that they had a chance coming into this matchup. Once they um, wore down Asuka, 
it was pretty much only a matter of time before they was going to either put away Lana or Naomi. And that's uh, actually what happened. So once that happened, the match was pretty much done with. Now, I will say on to a tag team match that I, I really enjoyed. And I was kind of disappointed because I've been saying this for weeks now. I think Shelton Benjamin and uh, Cedric Alexander look like they're about to be on the outs, man. I know um, WWE needs tag teams and they're one, but... I don't know if they're going to make it. I don't know if they're going to finish out. I don't know if they're going to make it this summer, to be honest. Um, we had uh, Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, RK Bro, <laughs> managed to get the victory over Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. Now, this is a new tag team for the men's division. Um, I'm not saying they're going to be amazing, but we've seen tag teams like this work in the past. We've seen the Rock and Sock connection become one of the, the most entertaining tag teams of their time. So, this could easily be the same exact thing. Uh, between Randy Orton and Matt Riddle. So that will be interesting to see what happens. Now, it was another week where I didn't see the tag team champions in action. I you know, I really want to see almost in the rain, man. I really want to see them, you know, progress and uh, get better as one of the bigger giants. Probably the only legit giant you really have right now. Dabakato, I don't even know if he's still going by Dabakato, but... um, He's about 6'9", but, man, almost as easily a 7 two seven three so i really want to see him uh continue to get some matching man but other than that that was really about it man monday night raw wasn't wasn't as exciting they did try to do some storyline advancement but i feel like everything was like rushed or we're getting into charlotte flares and the Mandy roses i like the match for Mandy rose sake of just looking strong against someone like charlotte flair but i really want to see charlotte flair in that women's championship role um i like her um her heel turn again I like her on the hillside. I love her on the hillside. I actually wish Rick Flay was here with her while she's doing her hillside. I think that would work out the best, but he's not. And, and everything else, all the other matches, it was just like, okay, we're going to just slow roll and continue the storylines we have. It's like they didn't really have a plan coming into Monday Night Raw. I feel like they just put something together like hours before the show. That's what it felt like to me. So this week, Monday Night Raw was pretty basic, pretty pretty mid to me. Um... I give it maybe a C plus rating overall. So the storyline's advancing this week. I mean, no, no more different than last week. Only thing we really got to see was that um, Braun is now in the WWE title match, of course, and that um, Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander are on the outs. If they can't put together a win, it's it's not going to matter. They're not going to last. Uh, you might as well send one of them back to NXT or both of them to NXT and help that younger talent uh, develop more or swap some tag teams or something like that. But that was pretty much all that happened on Monday Night Raw this week. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you think it was actually a pretty good show, let, let me know. Let me know what parts you really liked. And, um, you know, we'll highlight those um, next week. Um, hit me in the comments, DMs. You already know how we do things. I'll answer you right back. Uh, when we hit 100 subscribers, of course, we're going to give uh, have a giveaway. So make sure you're following the Wrestling Replay on Instagram. Hit like, subscribe, turn your notifications. So anytime you drop a video, you'll be the first ones to be able to see it. All right? But... That was it, man. That was your Monday Night Raw replay of the week. Um, hopefully, we get a better show next week. Until then, I'm Kato. Peace.